Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got a brand new reaction to a Cookie from Space by Infected Mushroom and Bliss. I love this album art by the way, it is fantastic. Uh, the new longest song on Monster Cat uh, with what, 10 minutes and 19 seconds? My gosh, this is gonna be a long one. Uh, beat it out Mitchell Claxton's Wuxia uh, by about, I think like 30 or 40 seconds. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but uh, by a decent margin in the grand scheme of things. But uh, yeah, Infected Mushroom and Bliss have worked together quite a bit. I actually really liked Annie Mabushul. I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but I was a fan of it. I'm, I'm not the hugest Psytrance person, but I think Annie Mabushul is probably my my favorite Psytrance track I've heard. Oh, actually probably Spitfire and then Annie Mabushul second, but uh, I'm excited for this brand new track, A Cookie from Space. This is gonna be nuts. It's gonna be long, and uh, I'm not the hugest Psytrance guy, but uh, we'll see what we think of this new Infected Mushroom and Bliss. So without any further ado, Let's get into it. Here is a cookie from space. Very minimal start.
like processed babes. Almost halfway done. time here.
long extended outro now? Is that what we're doing? Mmm. Little Latin guitar. from space infected mushroom and bliss oh okay so if you guys know me uh you will know that one of the things i often say i, I love long songs but they need to be worth its time it needs to be it needs to it needs to entice me the whole time it needs to be worth its value of time absolutely that song was worth its value of time uh i that didn't feel like 10 minutes that did not feel like 10 minutes to me at all. Like that felt like five or six and I don't know, maybe like, and I wasn't zoned. I don't think I was really zoned out at any point. Like it just, it kept bringing me back and enticing me with other different sounds and ideas and motifs and thematics and movements. And oh my gosh, I loved that last section with the halftime. That was, that was peak infected mushroom and bliss. I just go in the whole song all leading up to that, just like, you're like, oh, what is happening? The beat's going back and forth. It's like, what is, it's slowing down. It's good. It's like, what? And then it goes, Dum, and just like, just you're like, oh yeah. You're just, <laughs> that was fun. Um, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that track. That's, uh, <laughs> it's not one you really just casually listen to because it's 10 minutes and it's so long, but it's one that you like go to for now and then you're like, oh, I'm listening to this now. And you just go ham on it. Um, Wow, that was really fun. Uh, that was, I really enjoyed that. Uh, for such a long song, it, it really was worth its time in gold or whatever. So that was great. Um, and I don't even like Psytrance that much. So I'd love to know you guys that actually really, really love Psytrance. What do you think of this? What do you think of this track? Um, I, and yeah, and for everyone as well. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. But oh my gosh, this song was insane on so many levels. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there. Uh, I've been Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.